What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. I know I look so tired because I literally just woke up and it's early. I want to show you what Bernard got into today. So I woke up, went in here and check it out. He is already into mischief. He had one good day and now he is back to his old ways. Check it out. Oh my gosh. He is cutting up the toilet paper. What are you doing, Bernard? He cut it up into what is that? Snowflakes? Well, I guess it's not all that bad. It's kind of cool. Well, good job, Bernard. But I don't know if I would want to wipe with this toilet paper. I don't think it would do much good, Bernard. I'm gonna go in there and get some coffee and we're gonna start this day off right. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we put the other couch in here in Shelby's office. It does not look good because this is the back of the couch. This is, what is it called, Shelby? An ottoman. An ottoman. So you're just supposed to put your feet on it. It's not necessarily a couch. So we're not sure where we're going to put this right now. The reason why we have this thing is because the other one in our den kind of messed up and stuff. So Shelby called them and they were like, okay. So they sent us brand new ones, but we're not sure what we're going to do with them. Look at the fire. Look at the fire. Oh, what a beautiful shot, Gainer. <laughs> yep, that's enough. Propane costs way too much. <laughs> what happened to it? Okay, let's try this again back at Dick's Sporting Goods, but this time I have come prepared. I rented a van, a cargo van, so that should be able to fit this ping pong table. We will see, and if not, we're not gonna get a ping pong table. I think I need to jump on the bandwagon and finally get a truck. You know, people in Texas all have trucks, or you would think have trucks, a lot of them don't, because I really don't know any friends here in Texas that have a truck, but we need it so often now with having a house, so I think I need to bite the bullet, sell my car, and get a truck. Okie dokie, so shouldn't be a problem. Last night they said we picked it up when we really did not if you watch my yesterday's vlog. So they said everything's okay, so now we're gonna put it in the van and let's get home. Just made it home and it fit perfectly. Now to get this thing in the house because me and another guy had a hard time getting it in here and now me and Shelby are gonna have to get it out and get it upstairs and this thing is heavy. Oh, oh come on you wuss. Didn't they want you to go to the gym? Oh my gosh. You're gonna have to help somehow. I don't know, like how, I can't really. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, are you pushing it all? Yes. Okay. I don't know if I believe that. Why do you Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I watch your fingers. Help. You gotta get that edge out. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I've been going to the gym in weeks. I can tell. To go. Are you pushing? Go on the strong Why you go to the gym if you can't use your strength to pick this crap up? I used it. Got it out. Whatever mom did. <laughs> That's right. One eternity later. So we finally got it in the house and we decided that this is going to be a living room ping pong table. Right Shelby? Yep. 
<laughs> because that thing is not going up these stairs, not with me and Shelby. That's gonna take like probably three or four people. So our plan is to actually take it out of the box here, check it all out, and then one by one, bring up the pieces up the stairs. So we finally got the ping pong table upstairs and now I have to take back this van and Shelby has to come pick me up. The pain of not having a truck. So just made it home and now I'm about to wash my car before putting up the ping pong table where I might be doing that after the gym later on. Not really sure right now, but first I need to wash this baby. So after cleaning my car, came back inside, did some work on the computer, and now getting ready to go to the gym. I got my pre-workout by Muscle Tech, and I can't decide what gym I want to go to. So there's pros and cons to both gyms. Uh, of course, the one I can film at, uh, the pro is being able to film and not worrying about people looking at me or getting in trouble. But the other gym, the Gold's Gym, has way better back equipment, and today I'm working back so I can't really decide, and plus the Gold's Gym have uh, dumbbells that go over 100 pounds, so I just have to make a decision here. Uh, but whatever gym I go to, I will be recording. Just one will be better than the other one as far as recording. So we're gonna go ahead, head to the gym, and get this back workout started. So I can't decide on what gym to go to, so I'm gonna do the technique that me and Shelby does for picking cheat meals each week. We flip a coin, so that's what I'm gonna do here. So we're gonna say, tells is gonna be for body wise where I can film at and then heads is gonna be gold's gym. So let's go ahead and give this a twirl. Ooh, what is it, what is it? It is tails, so we're gonna be going to body wise. So you will be having way better angles. What's going on everyone? Hope you're all enjoying this video and enjoying this new video series. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this back workout. So the very first exercise I started off with was wide grip lat pull downs. I did five sets total for around 10 to 12 reps and on the last set did a double drop set. So I like starting most of my back workouts with lat pull downs because I feel it helps me engage my lats throughout the whole entire workout because I'm able to feel it out a little bit if that makes sense. Uh, because if I don't start off with lat pull downs and I move on to like barbell rows and stuff, I don't feel my lats engage as much. So that's the reason why I like starting off with those wide grip uh, pull downs. After that, went into underhand grip pull downs. I did four sets for around uh, eight to 12 reps. And then on the last set, did a double drop set on here as well. So as you can see, when I go up and stretch, I bring my head all the way in. Uh, right in between my arms. So that's going to fully uh, stretch my lats up at the top. After that, went into barbell bent over rows. I did three sets for around 10 to 12 reps. And then after doing the three sets overhand, I went into three sets underhand grip. And I also did uh, 10 to 12 reps, but on the last set of the underhand grip that you're watching right now, I did a double drop set. I did not get to record it because it just takes too long to record drop sets. And you know, most of you guys know what a drop set is. I like to drop the weight by around 20% and try to squeeze out as many reps as I can. And then for a double drop set, you just drop it once more after that. Now, moving on to more pull downs, I went with a neutral grip. Uh, pull down single arm and the reason why I'm doing it on this cable apparatus instead of doing it on a lat pull down is because I'm able to stretch all the way up at the top of that movement. If I was doing it on a lat pull down I wouldn't be able to stretch all the way up at the top uh, because the weight hits the stack. So I did four sets of these for around 12 to 15 reps. After that, went into uh, seated cable rows. I did four sets total for around uh, 10 to 15 reps, somewhere in there. I tried to hit failure at 10 reps, so each set I would just go up and wait. If I went over 15 uh, reps, I would go up and wait until I hit around those 10 reps. And on the last set, did a double drop set that you're gonna watch right here. So I dropped the weight by around 20%, go to failure, which was around maybe five to six reps. It wasn't many reps because at this point of the workout, I was pretty much shot, which is a good thing because that means I've worked out extremely hard. And if I was able to uh, do more than like six reps, I dropped the weight uh, too much. After that, went into straight arm rope pushdowns. I did uh, four sets 
of around 12 to 15 reps on the last set, did a double drop set on here as well, and then went outside and finished off on wide grip pull-ups. I went for 50 reps total, so it did not matter how many sets I did. I was only resting for around 45 seconds in between sets. So I would just go to failure and then rest for 45 seconds and then go uh, to failure again. I think I ended up doing, I think, six sets. So I wasn't able to squeeze out all 10 reps for five sets. That's what I, my target was, but I wasn't able to do that. But guys, that is the end of the workout. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to try out this workout, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Just got done with that back workout. It was a pretty hard workout. I've not been able to work back that hard in a long time because I even feel my tendon uh, in my chest and shoulder when I work back. But today I didn't feel it at all, so I was able to push myself really hard. So now I'm out in the car taking uh, my creatine, or I already drank my creatine, and I hope it was creatine because it was in my little bodybuilding.com funnel and it was from when I went back home uh, visiting family in Mississippi and I think I put creatine in. I'm hoping that it was not pre-workout because if it was pre-workout, I'm gonna be staying up all night long. And I'm also taking the Isoway Clear, so the protein powder right after the gym. Uh, this is by Muscle Tech, a new protein. This stuff tastes and mixes like a BCA or pre-workout. It doesn't mix like a protein. Highly recommend this stuff. This flavor, I haven't had any of the other flavors yet uh, because I like this one so much. This is the Arm Dream Sickle. So I'm gonna take a scoop of that and then we're gonna head home to see what Shelby and Mr. Brady's up to. Just made it home from the gym, Brady. Get out of the cabinet, come on, get out of there. And let me show you what else I got on Black Friday. This is for Mr. Brady, the cutest thing ever. Adidas had a big sale going on. Let me show you. Oh, this is so cute. Look at those oh. pants. This is 18 months. That kid is gonna have to grow a good bit to fit in these. He is playing with our baby proofing right now. Can you put the baby proofers back? <laughs> that kid is such a mess. Putting it back. Rubber bands on the cabinets, oh. so he can't open them, and he takes them off and plays with them now. So bad. And this comes with a matching hoodie. Oh my gosh, this is the exact same hoodie I have. So what I did was buy some pants just like this. So I'm gonna have to get a photo. So me and Brady's gonna match. That is gonna be so cute but it's gonna be like four times too big for him. He should not be listening to this music, Mom. Some ballerina moves. Yeah, get it. So now I'm upstairs trying to build this ping pong table while Brady and Shelby dances downstairs and she cooks dinner. So they say for two people, this ping pong table takes 90 minutes to build. So we're gonna find out how long it takes with just one person because she's watching Brady so she can't help. I got all the pieces laid out down here and there's the table right there. So I'm hoping that it doesn't take more than 90 minutes. This is going to suck. A lot of the reviews say that it's very hard to build, so we're gonna find out. So yeah, it's definitely gonna take at least 90 minutes because I've been working on it for an hour now and look how far I've gotten. Just that so far. It is ridiculous and I actually messed up where I have to take off some of these and replace them because these things are supposed to be facing outward and they're facing inward, so I gotta replace one of those with this one. Such a pain, but we're gonna take an intermission break because football's on, and on top of that, Shelby has dinner ready, and tonight we are having, what, curry? Yum, one of my favorite things right now. Uh, so, let me show you again what we're having. You've probably seen this meal probably 50 times already because we've been having this a lot during my off season. So she made some of this bread, and then the curry, is right here on top of a bed of rice and we have some chicken uh, mixed with the curry. Looks so good, can't wait to eat. Brady, what are you doing? Back in the child safety lock, our rubber bands. You putting it back on? Thank you, thank you. So Abel decided it'd be a fun idea to take the whole thing apart and do it all over again. Right? I'm gonna let you do that. <laughs> 
This thing is getting on my last nerves. I had to take everything <laughs> apart that I put together. What, I've been working on this for like 30 more minutes? Probably, I put so, Brady to bed and stuff. I'm about an hour and 30 minutes into this project and we still don't even have one side of the ping pong table done. I don't think we're building this whole thing tonight. Yes, we are. I don't think so. I'm not going to bed until this is complete. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, if you ever get a ping pong table, get it pre-assembled or get someone to do it for you. This has been the biggest pain. We've been working for about two hours now and yeah. oh my gosh, I've been taking those things on and off, on and off because the poles are bent and I was thinking that they meant they needed to be outward. Actually, the poles are all supposed to be the same so it didn't matter but I didn't know that because some of them was like straight and then some of them were completely bent. And even Shelby was confused, right? It wasn't just me. It's this ping pong table was all wax. So it wasn't my fault. I'm not that dumb. But now we're finally making progress on this thing. I would think in maybe another 15, 20 minutes we'll have this thing good to go. It is finally built. We just got done. We played on it for a little while and it is a pretty nice ping pong table. Probably one of the nicest ones I've ever played on before. Because I'm so used to playing at our church and they have all those cheap ping pong tables and stuff, but this one is a pretty nice one. Now, all we have to do is buy a net because what we're gonna do is hook up the net from that ceiling all the way to this one right here so that anyone on that side that's gonna be hitting balls across, it's not gonna go down there because this is gonna be bad. Uh, playing ping pong. The balls are just going to be going over the stairs and you're going to have to constantly go downstairs to fetch the balls. So we're going to get a net so that doesn't happen. But I'm telling you, I told Shelby this, that anytime you plan out where a ping pong table should go, you should plan out more room than what you think it needs because this ping pong table is huge. This room is pretty big. And I would say if this room was any smaller, this ping pong table would not work. So now it is like 10.30. That ping pong table took so long that the night is pretty much over. So I'm gonna end the video here. But first, I want to ask a favor. If you don't mind, go down, comment, and let me know if you have any video ideas for these Vlogmas series because I want these videos to be as entertaining as I can. Now, two years ago, me and Shelby did all kinds of different challenge videos, uh, like the cookie decorating challenge. We did different food challenges. Just anything to make these videos interesting I would love to hear it now I'm not gonna be videoing tomorrow because I need to catch up on editing and I don't want to get too far behind but guys thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time all right guys peace dance baby come on oh yeah oh yeah dance